Hey, what's going on guys? Average Tech Guy, and today we're gonna visit the Samsung Chromebook Plus, and we're gonna see how we can transfer data from this to this. Stay tuned. When transferring data, the first thing you wanna make sure is that your device is able. So this device does not have any USB ports on either side. So we are dependent on these USB type C ports on each side. Now that we've narrowed that part down of how we're gonna transfer the data, we need to find an adapter that will allow us to transfer data, i.e. USB-C to USB. One side is USB-C, one side is just straight up USB. So type C on one side, USB on the other side. We're gonna plug this into the phone, into the um, computer, sorry. Let's zoom out a little bit. So right here on the side, And these are standard. These little plugs, you can get them anywhere from like four to 10 bucks on Amazon. This one actually came with my Note 8, so I've been just keeping up with it. All right, so now that we got that plugged in, we got our device. Sit that down. Now this is just the standard charger that came with my Note 8. I'm gonna plug one in into here which is the USB type C side. And over here, we're gonna plug in the USB. Perfect. Phone lights up. Uh, sometimes you have to let the phone know that you want it to share information. So we're gonna try to turn this on, access your data. You see that, allow, we're gonna hit that. Once we hit allow, boom. The computer picks it up, it registers, and right here, that's what I named it. Uh, that's the name of my memory card. So what we'll do is we'll click on that, and boom, there we go. All of our files that are on our phone are now viewable on our computer. We can actually take those files, we can transfer them over to the, um, the Chromebook, we can email them, we can do whatever we need to. The files that are on here now belong to this. Cool little features. Um, no, not a whole lot of computer knowledge or like extensive knowledge of computers needed for this. Now, we're gonna unplug this, but before we do that, always eject. That way you don't corrupt any files. Next thing. If you have one of these, thumb drive. Now you can use this as well. Plug that in, wait for it to come up. There we go. USB drive. <clears throat> and there's nothing on the this USB. So, but it is available. If I had anything on it, I could copy it, I could paste it, I could download, do whatever. And we'll eject that take that out all right so that's it for that little quick tutorial hope this is able to help someone make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and until next time average that guy out peace